in a village called Wemmicksville. Little wooden people fill their days exchanging stickers. Stars for the talented and clever. And for the clumsy, gray dots. This year we will honor the winning with the most star stickers with the most stars award. A handsome fellow. And to the winning with the most dots, <laughs> the most dots award. I wonder who that could be. You clumsy tweak! He deserves lots of dots. <laughs> There's nothing special about you, Punchinello. It's no use. I'll never be able to do anything special. No dots. No stars. Just wooden. Impact Entertainment and Crossway Books present a 3D animation for the entire family. Give it a go now. Based on the bestseller, Whoa. You Are Special by Max Lucado. A heartwarming story of a clumsy, outcast Wemmick who stumbles upon the discovery that someone thinks he's special. This summer, visit the colorful, stickerful village of Wemmicksville. That's gonna leave a nod. Here's a call. Come one, come all. Don't be left behind. A green nose for you all. Step right up. Step right up. Yes, folks, Willie with it warranties. Guarantees. Green noses are the most fabulific new thing of all time. And you're just not with it without it. This is the story of someone who felt like he never quite measured up. Now hold on there, that's not him. Ah, uh, back a little bit. Hold it, that's the little nipper right there. He's a special little guy, huh? I think so, because I made him. Just like I made all the Winnicks, each hand carved by me, Eli. Pilot to co-pilot, ready for another important mission from Eli. Somebody made you just as you are Somebody thinks you're a bona fide star When you feel lonely and nobody cares Just remember this Somebody made you, I know that it's true Somebody thinks that you're perfectly cool Forget about the things that people think you should do And just be absolutely positive to you That's the last load, Punchinello. 
Can you tell me what it is? When the time is right, you'll know exactly what it is. Okay, I'll see you later, Eli. When you love someone, sometimes you know what they need, even before they do. And sometimes what they think they need, they don't need at all. Somebody made you different from me. Somebody knows you're completely unique. And that's what makes you special. If you want the whole truth, you're simply absolutely positive. You're simply absolutely positive. You're simply absolutely positive. It ain't fair, Nip. A couple of fine, fancy blokes such as ourselves down on our luck. Again? Hey, 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 it ain't my fault. Aye, it's never your fault, Turk. Like yesterday, when you lost all our money. How was I supposed to know the blooming tortoise would beat the rabbit? I had it all rigged, that dirty, conniving bunny. He double-crossed me. Your cockite schemes never pay off. If I were to listen to your palaver, you'd have me believing a pot of gold is waiting for us right around the next corner. You'd go on and on about how we'd be living high on the hog. Oh, sure, the answer to our problems is just gonna fall right out of the sky and smack it to our laps. We'll find some piece of worthless rubbish that nobody wants and we'll sell it to the Emperor for a tidy bundle. Eureka! Nip me, lad. You're a blooming genius. What? Was it something I said? What will someone bid for this priceless article? It's the latest thing for spring and the trend, my friend, for fall. You've got to have a box and a ball. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's a lovely item. I must have it. I'll give you two pazoozas. Thank you, ma'am. Lovely dress. I've got three pazoozas from the lady in the back who'll give me four. Five. Five? I've got five. Do I hear six? Presenting the majestic, magnificent, magnanimous mayor of all Limitville. And his wife. Ooh, a parade? I just love a parade. Wait a minute. Where's the marching band? Where are the prancing ponies? Dear, it's not a parade. Hi, Governor. We've been waiting here just for you. For you, sir, I can detect are a gentleman of premier position, esteemed by all your peers with, I might add, impeccable taste. <laughs> now there's a man who knows a good thing when he sees it. A man of exceedingly vacuous discernment. <laughs> go on. Do go on. With the most lovely, I, I must assume, daughter. <laughs> oh, her? She's not my daughter. Why, she's old enough to be my... My granddaughter! Well, I'm sure, Gov, that you and your granddaughter, of all people, can discern that before me I hold the most precious and priceless prize. Fabulous. Just fabulous. Now, dear. And you, my dear, it's certain to make you the talk of the town. Why, with a rare barber like this, even the Princess of Pritzel will be jealous of you. Really? Definitely. Why? Why? Well, because this here is the one and only royal box that officially held the Emperor's new clothes. I knew that. I knew it all along. Well worth the puny pittance of a purchase price of just 400 bazoozas. 500 for you, Gov. 500 bazoozas? Why, that's a steal. And you, my dear, will be the absolute envy of every Wemmick in Wemmickville. And so the mayor made a decree. Every Wemmick must have boxes and balls. For only good Wemmicks have a lot, and bad Wemmicks have but a little. Oh, my goodness gracious! It's so hard keeping up with all these balls and boxes. Oh, it's such a burden being a trendsetter. <laughs> Hmm. Ho, 
Hold it right there, mister. That's mine. Give that back. Oh, it's you, Paganello. Paganello, you have no boxes. Not even a ball. No, that's true, I don't. Should I? Junkanello, I want you to clear this rubbish out of here immediately. It's not rubbish, sir. It's important. Important? Twiddle twaddle. How can this ever be important? Because it's from Eli. Eli? Trash from Eli? That just figures, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> Eli doesn't know what's important. Huh. You, Cucanello, will never make a good wedding. Huh. That boy simply does not understand the simply simple irrefutable fact. Oh, you look like a fellow what needs a bit of cheering up. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret even old Eli doesn't know about. But Eli knows everything, doesn't he? Why, sure, he knows how to get you to do his dirty work for him. <laughs> I'll bet he never even told you about the easy way to become a good whammock, eh? Instead, he's tricked you into hauling this blooming rubbish all over town. <laughs> Eli didn't trick me. Eli would never trick me. Oh, maybe not, Gov, but did he ever give you a box or a ball? Well, no. Huh, I didn't think so, but, you know, I just might be able to help you out of this sorry situation you've gotten yourself into. Think of it. Popularity. Admiration. Anything you want. Why, you could be the best Wemmick in Wemmickville. For a price. I could? But I don't have any money. No money? Well, tisk tisk lad. Boxes and balls cost money. Lots of money. Uh, that's the whole idea. Money. Lots of money. Well, uh, more's the pity. Without money, you'll never have boxes and balls. And without boxes and balls, laddie, you'll never fit in. Strap them up, dear, nice and high for everyone to see. There's no more room in here. Yes, my little sugar plum. Go. Oh, I can help you out with that little problem you got there, sir. Problem? What problem? I don't have any problems. Do I? Hey, why that little pesky one right over there? If you ask me, Gov, I think that one there is not to be trusted. Funny, that's just exactly precisely what I was just thinking. I don't trust that little piece of driftwood. Aye, that Punchinello's tight with the old Eli is, undermining the status quo, rocking the old proverbial boat. Why, there goes my market value, my mayor's mansion, for goodness sake. What do I do? What do I do? Well, lucky for you, Gov. You just happen to run into me, like this. Here's me card. Ooh, what a professional. Nip and tuck. Dirty deeds done. No job too low. What? <laughs> Oh, uh, excuse me, Gov. Uh, <coughs> Here you go. Nip and tuck. Private in their investigator. Investigators, Gov. We're secret agents. Spies, that is. Oh! <laughs> oh, I just love a good spy. You're hired. What in coronations do you think that is? I think it's a beautiful candy cane coat rack. It looks like a pirate ship headed west over across the mountains and through the fruited plains. Oh, hey, look. There's Punchinello. Hi, Punchy. Well, hey, you Punch. Hi, Punchinello. What you got in there, Punch? What you bring us from Eli? This is neat. Hey, look at this, Molly. Cool. All right. Pretty. Wow. So, what does it look like to you, Punchinello? I think it looks like a giant stack of boxes and balls. Uh huh? Punch, are you okay? I'll be the best Wemmick of all. Oh, what did he say? Uh, he said he's got the most boxes and balls. He says he's gonna be the best Wemmick of all. Holy haggis! I gotta get me some of them boxes and balls. Uh, you are such a dunce. He said, what? You're going to do something immediately. Yes, of course. My mind is made up. What should I do? Listen, Gov. What you need right now is the most boxes and balls, right? Right. 
Well, it just so happens I know where to find the largest stack of boxes and balls what you've ever seen in your entire life. And they're yours for the asking. I'll never be able to keep up with them. Now I'll buy hundreds of boxes and thousands of balls. Punch? You're selling your house? I need money, 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 boxes, balls. Gotta have them. That's crazy. Where will you live? What about Eli and our project? <laughs> oh, Eli's got it all wrong. Oh, Punchinello. Eli never gave anybody one single box or one single ball. The mayor says so, and he knows. Eli doesn't know what's important. I'll buy your house, Punchinello. Cash. Yay! <sighs> so strong was Punchinello's desire for boxes and balls, he traveled great distances to buy more and still more. Then he would stack them highest, higher than anyone else in Wemmicksville. Little Punch was determined to be the best Wemmick with the most boxes and balls. We're the tip of the top, the cream of the crop. We've certainly put everybody else in their place, haven't we, dearest? Oh, yes, we have, Hopely Pin. Particularly that Billy Punchinello. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. How could that pitiful Punchinello ever have the most boxes and balls when we have so many? <gasps> what is it? Heaven the pity. to the top of the mountain. Dear? Dear? Ah! Finally, I'll be a good mimic. Not if I make it to the top before you. Now, since you're up there and everything, and we're down here, you think you're the best Wemmick. Which, come to think of it, I suppose you are. <laughs> He'll have to come down sometime. And when he does, I shall be back on top where I belong. 
none of this would have happened if I would have worn my blue suit. Now I'm the best Wemmick. I'm the best. The best. Suppose I can go home. Why did I ever think those silly boxes and balls were so important? Ow! Now what am I going to do? Eli's got it all wrong. Oh, Pasanello. Eli doesn't know what's important. Good morning, Punchinello. <gasps> Eli? How are you? Oh, I, I, I'm fine. I, uh, I, I've had a lot to do, you know. Uh, really important stuff. Um, I've been super busy. Are these what were keeping you busy? Oh, no. I thought those things would make me happy. Those boxes and balls cost you a lot, didn't they? Yeah, they sure did. Hey, my leg! You fixed it! Come here, Punchinello. I want to show you something. Do they look happy? No. Do they look important? They look rather silly. I kind of messed up, didn't I? That's okay. You're still special. Because of who you are. You are mine. I love you. Don't forget that, little friend. I won't. Speaking of friends, I don't suppose I have many real friends left. I mean, besides you. Why don't you go see? You may be surprised.
Hey, Holly, would you get me that there hammer, please? Sure, but I still don't know what this thing is. You know, maybe it's a cruise ship. I think it's a jungle jeep. Whatever it is, there's no more parts, so I guess we're finished. Too bad Punch missed it. I'm there soon. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Hi, Punchy. Too bad about your house. Sure wish we could get it back for you, Punch. I'm sorry I let you down. I've been a real knucklehead. <laughs> Tell you what, Punchinello. We'll forgive you if you help us figure out what this thing is. When the time is right, you'll know exactly what it is. Oh no! You busted it! And we never even knew what it was! And so, at last, the lone young soul had found the things he sought. For when a heart is unlocked and opened, one never knows what wonderful treasure may lie within. Pilot to go, Pilot. Ready for another important mission from Eli. What do you see? Well, seems old Punchinello's got himself a flying bike. And the whole silly lot of them's wearing buckets on their heads. Holy haggis! I got to get one of them buckets! Oh, you look so lovely. I'll get a bucket just for you so it covers up your mouth. No, don't play coy with me. No, here's the reason why... I used to think that nobody cared. And there were days it seemed like no one was there. Left me feeling lonely and blue I didn't know what to do I used to think that What mattered most was What others thought of me But that was before I met you Don't seem to mind Each time I jump I fall I'm pretty clumsy most of the time That doesn't change how you feel You love me and that's the deal I'm special just because you made me Special cause you love me just the way that I am I'm particularly wonderful Fantastically unusual Special cause you say that I am Special cause I'm your little man Ooh, I'm special just because you made me Special cause you love me just the way that I am I'm particularly wonderful Fantastically unusual Special cause you say that I am Special cause I'm your little man Thank you. 